Looking for good duo hero besides Leaming Varian, I mean, there's literally like infinite. <laughs> Just pick any, you can, like, any stun plus any mage is good. Any stun plus any stun is good. Any two CCs. There's literally infinite duo combos. Facility powering up. We're about to begin. So, are you ready to have an adventure? Sure, I'm game. What's your favorite to do with June? Uh, I don't think we have a favorite. Systems online in 10 seconds. Five. All right, what build am I going here? Water Dragon. I wonder what ult he's going. Now that would be your mom's zone trooper, come on. How many times I gotta tell you? Zone trooper never remembers. Gotta do this kind of stuff with Gazlo, you know? Just kite him with the turrets. Cheesy turret kiting! Oh, cheesy turret action. I think even with the turret kiting, I am pretty sure we don't beat a Kira though. Kira's kinda strong on one. Gazlo's kinda whatever one versus one. This thing is heavy. Do what we can though. If we kite hard enough and we get enough globes. And we hit enough lasers, we might be able to whittle him down. Oh dear. The beacons are energizing. You have to control them. Ah, I should have just aimed directly. I would have got him. Well, the good news is he got hella whittled down, though. Kind of uh, chilling now. The beacons have activated. Control them. Please let this No. Oh. Get them through it. I need more turret. That was not the turret we needed, though. No, he actually did it! Oh my god. That was a good E. Goodbye, my friend. If he misses that E, I would win. But if he hits, he wins. You're losing all your HP kiting? Oh, it would be a lot worse if you were not kiting. Kira is a very good 1v1 hero. If you were not kiting, you'd, he'd be full HP still. And you'd be 0 HP. All good though, we're chilling. Scaling. Select a talent. Oh, I got the shield now. Shield is, uh, makes us a lot of here. Which is good. Danger is close at hand. Ready. Oh, he took a tire shot. That's big. That's fine. He's gonna take another tire shot. Big. Maybe it's not that big. God, Kira 1v1 is disgusting. Match. The amount of power shots this fool's taken and he's still trading, out trading us. Disgusting. No! Oh well. At least he died. <laughs> you're full HP now and you're not kiting shit? That's cause you're not playing hot. If you were playing hot, you would be kiting shit. Still skill. For next time. Three. One. Oh, we're auto attack. I think I level 10. Level 10 and 13 and 16 will feel a lot better. Level 10 in particular. Because the unstoppable will negate the Kira E. That'll be a nice 
back for us. You have my gratitude. I'd likely be served food without you. Yeah, the website for builds is down right now, but you can just use the numbers. The numbers are the builds. Numbers next to the build uh, thing. But yes, the website is down right now. Oh, the sun is down. Select a talent. You fight with the fury of a Random mass gas low room successful. Effective. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, this lane is probably unwinnable, honestly, if he goes for the full auto build. Pretty unwinnable. I just soak. Curious if I played this Bronze GM? Uh, none. Why would I play a strong build in Bronze? That is not how a Bronze GM works. It's not even that strong of a build. Like, that build is not even that good in the team fights. The only thing that build is good for is the 1v1. Which, you know, is pretty important on a map like this, but. <laughs> he just missed all three of his abilities, and we still can't out-trade him. That's how sad this lane is. Literally missed every single ability, and we still can't do shit, because all he has to do is like auto-attack you twice to win the trade. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, my friends. Pipusach shouldn't have tried to trade. It's actually on level. But we are level 10 now. What hero can 1v1 Kira? There's like a certain set of heroes that are just really standard for Abraxas top lane. It's like Rexar, Kira, Artanis, maybe Hogger, although Hogger does not beat Kira. There's just like a set of like heroes that are just good at 1v1 that most people will end up playing in Hyula. I think I covered most of them. Leo is sometimes good, yeah, depending on the matchup. If it's a melee matchup, Leo's pretty good most of the time. Oh, now we should be able to beat him because we have Unstoppable now. But we only beat him if he misses his E. Like if, well, I mean, not really. I guess his E. If only we can only beat him if like we can negate his E. If that E stuns us, we're still much better now though after ten. Yeah, that's really really like Water Dragon. But it should be really easy for the Yi not to stun us. If it's a 1 versus 1 lane, we literally just always save our Robo Gobo cleanse for the E and we should be chilling. You think Sylvanas wins against Kira? Uh, no, it does not. Only if the Kira is terrible. <laughs> Sylvanas doesn't win against shit in a solo lane if the other person knows how to play the game. Because you have no sustain. 
Oh my god, bro. I actually stutter stepped into that. Not a disgusting, but okay. Oh, turret shield for the win, baby. Never mind. Turret shield was not enough. Double fatality. So be it. 2 I shall help you. Tracer wins against Kira, no. Um No, uh, not against the good Kira. You, that's the same problem. You have like no sustain. Ranged heroes usually, outside of maybe Phoenix and Zagara, like a ranged hero would never win against the good solo laner, unless the goats and unless the solo laner, like if you're winning, it's because the guy you're playing against sucks. If you're winning, it's because the other guy's landing nothing while you're slowly auto attacking them to death, which just means they suck. It doesn't mean it's a good matchup. It means the other guy sucks. If it's a Good player on any real offlaner against a solo laner like a Sylvanas. They all they have to do is like land one spell every now and then, and they're gonna out they're gonna out sustain you eventually because they just keep healing and you can. Well, I mean, it it kind of depends. Like in a pure one versus one, like maybe some of those matchups you could win with a ranged hero, but. Ranged heroes are also extremely vulnerable to getting ganked, so like if anyone on the other team decides to wants to kill you, you're basically a free kill most of the time if you're a ranged hero. So there's like a lot of problems with ranged heroes in solo lane. What if you're Junkrat, then you just sit back and pew 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 from afar? Then the other guy just dodges everything, because it's, it's like brain that easy to dodge Junkrat grenades when you're shooting a mile away. Select a talent. We shall stand united. Tracer should be really hard to hit. Yeah, it would be hard to hit a Tracer with like a Kira E. Like you could negate the Kira E, so maybe one versus one you could do okay. But Kira, like you have no, like basically no sustain. Kira doesn't have to hit an E on you. All she has to do is like hit her Q. Sometimes, every now and then, or a D. Like if she ever gets a full Q or D on you, you instantly already lost the trade. Like the, the trade's already over. That's like half your life gone instantly. And Kira just heals back to full. And the thing about points like this is like the melee can play around bushes and stuff. So. And and usually if you're like a ranged, they do need to play around vision. So if it's actually a good Kira, like they'll just start playing into the bush. Like you can't walk into it if they're already in there. And, and if you don't walk close to it, then you have no lane control at all. You're not going to be hitting her either. Is that thing good against Kira? No. Probably terrible. This guy out, ley line. Why do you take the globe when you're full to deny it for the other guy? If you're talking about this globe, yeah. Usually I just take it to deny it. Like, if you're full, it doesn't... The other guy's probably not full. And even if, even if you're both full, like, it's still better to just make sure you get it. Because you deny it. Oh my god, look at me go. The, the attack speed, I'm chopping.
I do like when this build gets to 16, dude. I'm just like a chopping machine. Like, I don't give an F. You better, you better pray I don't land a stun on you. What, you think I care, Stitches? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. I did care. It's okay, I'll be back. Borax, thanks for the uh, 20. Welcome back. Who's good against Kira? <laughs> Kira is easily one of the best 1v1ers in the game. There's nothing that is particularly good against Kira. Dodge her E or you die if it's a 1v1. Well, well, anything that can remove the I should say anything that can remove the E is usually pretty good. So any kind of unstoppable, like a Leo E or a Gazlo R, once you get there, is pretty good. But if you have no way of dodging the E, then you can carry a matchup is literally... If you, if you get hit by the E, you can't avoid it, you die. Samuro? Samuro can dodge the E, but Samuro also spawns like a shitload of things for her to lifesteal on, so I don't think Samuro's like that good. Oh, I got the slow on you. You dead, son. Alright, let me go hide in a bush. I see what you're saying with this build. Like, if you ambush someone without a dash, and you get the slow on them in a bush, you definitely can't kill them pretty fast. Boom! You're slowed! You're dead, son. Chop! 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 Oh my god! Chapa yeah. Oh dear, here come the Zerg. Fewer than the enemies, or whatever that's worth. Thrall? Well Thrall is pretty good at 1v1 if you take green level one. You could just take Thrall or Artanis and then it's just like a skill matchup. It's just like the guy that plays better. That's what most high level 1v1s end up being most most GM games on Braxis you're gonna see like the peers I mentioned. People just pick a really strong one you wanna on top lane. Alert. Every Your game base is being attacked by the Zorn. Zorn. Enemy has then whoever plays better or games better. Well, that team's definitely gone. First ambush? First ambush this game, yeah. Destroy. So you have a 50-50 against everyone? Not really. Not anymore. Maybe three years ago she did. Uh. Unstoppable on demand. I'm the bully now. Chapa 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 chapa. Still alive, still alive. Still alive. Still alive. Top kicks. How long does this still last? Uh, 3 seconds, but every time they get hit by like a turret, MVP. it extends it by 0.5 seconds. So if you have turrets to chase them down, it could last like forever. GG.